Welcome back, everyone. We are at the two-week mark of our graphene, spray coatings, ceramic coatings, etc. type of test. And as you can see, we've had quite a wide range of temperatures and a decent amount of rain in the last two weeks. If you haven't subscribed already to the channel, please consider doing so. I know only about 35% of you guys that watch these videos are subscribed, so it really helps the channel out. As usual, we will foam it down, rinse it, foam it again, wash it, and rinse it. See how the hydrophobics are holding up on all of these eight different products. And you can see just off the bat, the, uh, the Adams Graphene Ceramic Coating is doing outstanding. Look at how hydrophobic that is. Drive Victory Nano, it, the water's kind of sticking to that a little bit. Uh, not to the point where I call it failed, but it's, uh, it's not nearly as hydrophobic as the others. Uh, Gra Adam's Graphene Detail Spray, kind of the same way. It's just, uh, it's slightly hydrophobic, but not, not crazy hydrophobic. 303, heavily hyped product, and look at that. I would call that failed. So two weeks, 303 Graphene Spray, and it's gone. SPS Graphene, which they are kind of the, one of the originals of the graphene coatings and it's doing great kind of all over here all over the place with the camera here sorry about that see Kenzo graphene reinforced IGL easy their graphene spray it's doing great so really that we have one failure we're gonna call that 303 graphene failed you can see that it's pretty much sticking and uh, Drive Victory Nano Graphene, it's, uh, it's doing all right, but it's, it's weak. And that is two, coat, two layers of everything on here. Everything has two layers. So what do you think? Any surprises? I know that uh, the 303 was kind of the big one that people were wondering about. And of course the Adams products, people are always asking about those because they're pretty heavily marketed. So there we go, we'll rinse it off. Once again, guys, if you wanna support the channel, please consider going to patreon.com slash scotthd. 100% of these products are bought and paid for out of my own pocket unless otherwise stated. Um, sometimes the manufacturers will send them to me, but I am completely unsponsored on purpose. So we have a completely neutral, unbiased review. Thanks again, guys. See you soon.